Aloha, dear Spilak family. It's me, Lisa Trenton and Sprout. And I woke up to do a live event today and decided to do a quick video before we get started. Besides, I'm still on my PJs, so apologies, but nobody cares, right? Okay, so, <laughs> it's early. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I get a lot of questions. Um, and as we start to wake up, as we start to come into consciousness, as energy starts to move in our body, as things don't make any sense anymore, as we start to understand um, why we came here, why we're even on this earth, uh, what we're doing here, why we chose um, all the human experiences that we did, um, how to deal with it, what to do. There, there's so many things. Um, the number one thing we start to understand is to focus on your light, focus on your energy, focus on your vibration. They're all the same thing. Um, as you do this, as you focus on your vibration, um, what causes you to raise your vibration? What do you do to raise your own vibration? How do you change your vibration? What affects your vibration? You start to understand that anything that affects your vibration um, is lack of power, lack of love, uh, lack of everything within, unless it inspires you, unless it supports you, unless it opens your heart. Um, and you start to realize that it's up to you um, to start making a choice in what you're going to allow. Now, in the beginning, it's very subtle, but we just have to pay attention. Um, and then we start to realize the things that we didn't understand before. We didn't understand that that didn't make us happy. We didn't understand that that affected us so much. We didn't understand that uh, we wanted more. Uh, that's called being unconscious. That's called being asleep. We didn't understand because we weren't meant to at that time. It's part of coming in, into being awake. This isn't a anybody did anything wrong. This isn't a right or wrong, good or bad. This isn't a you can't fail at this. The the You came here to do this. And so the entire process is you learning about vibrational frequencies. It's and connecting from every with everything energetically from the inside. Now, in the beginning, when we start to wake up, if we as we suppressed and compromised as a human, um, our soul, then we we pushed a lot of stuff in our physical body. And our body held it as long as it could, and then it said, okay, enough. I, I can't do this. Um, it's time for to wake up. And your body has to come alive. Your body has to be free. Your body has to release all the stuff in it, all the old um, illusory programs uh, that were held in your cellular memory. And what it will start to do is it will start to release, uh, whether you like it or not. Uh, your physical reality will start to realign for you, whether you like it or not. Um, because as a human, you're not going to like this stuff. Because this isn't what falls into the realm of um, what's important to us at that time. And so, in order to get us focused, in order to show us what is truly important, uh, physical world things start to be removed, start to realign. Uh, when we focused too much on something that represented our separation or allowed us to stay unconscious and forget um, who we truly are at our core. And it has nothing to do with this physical existence right here. But everything we focus all our energy on that basically helps us stay unconscious and asleep, then, then our reality will start aligning for us to help us wake up. This is how it works. But we don't understand that at the time. And we fight and we struggle. And we resist. And and all that does is cause our own suffering. And, and we, along the way, realize we're the one causing all of this. We're the one doing this to ourselves. And that we have the power to change everything. But we have to do it from the inside out. 
This is a journey. This is a process of evolving back into pure, divine, source, powerful, essence, love, light. The amount of wisdom that comes forth as you wake up is, is huge. But all that knowledge doesn't come forth if you're not open, if you're not connected, sacred from inside. If you're not um, allowing, asking, and, and choosing. The, those are necessities here. And then it comes to a point of what do you do? Because what you do dictates everything in your physical world. Everywhere you put your energy. Everything you feed energy into. Uh, we start to understand everything that we share or spread. Spread is the human's word. Share is ours. But everything you share, if it is not of the light, then you're the one feeding the old consciousness. And, and that's your reality because there are a lot of, um, there are many that we don't do that. And there's a part of the journey you have to choose to go on. You have to choose to move on. You have to choose to let that go. You have to choose to stop participating in that. You have to choose. Because if you don't choose, um, then... Um, you get to keep experiencing it over and over and over again until that program is uh, about to become obsolete and it's time um, for that to end. And when it's time for you to move into a different vibration, then the old vibration will collapse. Um, a reality is a vibration. Everything is a vibration here. So when you start to pay attention to the vibrations of everything, how it affects you, um, what closes your heart, you start to realize that if you just focus your energy on the things that inspire you and open you up and support you, then, then you'll be inspired and you're able to do this for others too. Um, the old days of hiding, the old days of pointing the finger, the old days of wishing something would be different, um, those go. Uh, this is the, we are in the days of mastery. Uh, everybody here, everybody has the capability, not only just the capability, the power to do every bit of this, but you do have to choose and you do have to commit and focus on your vibrational frequency, your energy, what affects you. Then as you do this, you start to realize that you also have gained the power through your remembering in order to um, master your whole physical reality again. And this is the cool part. Is because everything you experience is a part of the vibrations that you're transmitting out. Um, you have to pay attention to your vibration first, though. If you choose to master your whole physical reality and call forth and bring forth everything you've ever desired, call forth and bring forth your, your most amazing dreams, call forth and bring forth, because you do call them forth here um, by what you do through your own consciousness, where your focus is, what you put your energy into, your own awareness. And when you're consciously aware and present, you're choosing and you're doing from that place of love, from that place of inner power, from that place of inner strength, from that place of inner wisdom, your whole reality changes. It's, it's beyond magnificent. It's beyond cool. Um, it's beyond anything you've ever desired. But you have to choose. Now, Letting go of our human limitations, letting go of our human programs, um, coming to love ourselves fully again, coming to stand in your power again. Um, it, it's going to be challenging. Um, it's going to be the hardest thing you've ever done. The reason being is it goes against everything you are as a human. Um, you're here to be the advanced new earth human. You are here to bring forth all your gifts. You are here to fulfill all of your purposes, roles, missions. You're here to do many amazing things and you don't do this by hiding. You don't do this by cowering down. You don't do this by by tucking tail and going inside. You do do this by pulling away and figuring things out. You do do this by paying attention and coming to understand from a completely different place. You do do this by letting go. Not holding on to the dualistic game. Um, it, it is all yours. And there are dimensional realities that already exist. Where peace and love and magic and bliss. These, these are our realities here. Um, but you have to choose not to keep going back into the old vibrational realities yourself. Uh, because when you go unconscious, your reality is one that's affected by everything. Um, 
It's a mastery thing for every one of us. So, if you want to experience the amazing things every day, then you open up to the magic. Universe, bring me magic. I want to experience magic today. And then not only do you open up, but you expect it. And you raise your vibration and you go play in the magic and you go have some fun. And you get busy. Because as a higher self, as you embody your higher self, as a spirit in physical form, you are in service fully with everything you do, everything you breathe. I know the roosters and chickens are waking up. It's been <laughs> the birds were singing and having a blast like they do every morning. As you embody light, your whole world changes. But it will also shine a light on all of your, quote, dark. Now, I don't use this word anymore because dark is just your old programs. But light and dark are a dualistic thing. And if you want a word to use to understand, then it, as energy starts to move in your body, as you start to connect with vibrational frequencies of the energy and everything around you, then a lot of us, many, uh, will start to um, label things according to perceptions at that time. And entities has been a big one for a lot of people. They're focusing on, on the power of entities over them. And, and this is just a phase. And the reason I say this is many of us went through it. But it's another way of giving your power away. It is also going to represent an aspect of yourself that hasn't become whole again. And the human's word is heal. Um, as you come to transcend the fear, as you take your power back, as you love yourself fully, um, those things cease to exist in your world. You become spirit. Um, there is nothing to fear here. Nothing has more power than you do. Um, this is about reclaiming your power. This is about a reality that you maintained expanded awareness all the time. And you don't shrink back down to little human. And you don't go unconscious anymore. And you stand fully in power as love, respect, honor, integrity. All of these things that you seek from the outside world, you do not get them. You do not get to experience them until you and as you are able to maintain them and achieve them from inside of you all the time. Not just when it's convenient. Because the human, the moment things get easy, they stop trying. The moment they think they have enough, they stop. The moment things um, are working... They go unconscious. We don't go unconscious here. You take everything you have access to and you utilize it. There's a difference between using and utilizing. The human will use. We utilize. Um, as an alchemist, you'll be able to take everything and utilize it in order to turn everything into light. Your job is to transform everything into light. Your job is to speak in light. Your job is to affect everything in light. And you cannot do this if you're not focused on your light. Your light is the most important thing. And everybody asks, how do I make a difference? How do I remember? How do I um, fulfill my dreams? Um, how do I experience my dreams here? And the amazing things, you focus on your light. You focus on your vibration. You pull away and you get away from it all. You start to love your body. You get out in nature. Um, you do have to choose what's important because if you keep staying caught up in the old things, and that's what you're going to keep experiencing until you get tired of it. When you get tired of it, you'll choose. Um, the difference is as a master being, as a master light being here, you're aware of what you're choosing. And you're choosing intentionally and you're focusing your energy intentionally. And you do not allow the old stuff in your reality anymore. And as you do not allow the old things anymore, things start to change. It's awesome. So, focus on your light. Focus on your energy. I have a lot of you got to do, so I kind of have to go. Um, your world not only will change, it will become beyond magnificent. Um... There, it is challenging along the way. I know I just woke up and I can't talk. To realize sometimes what a mess our life is. and But every one of us get through it. Not only do we get through it, we, we come to thrive. And 
as you start to understand, you actually start to assist others in seeing too. You're a portal. You start to assist others in being able to change their vibration too. You start to, this is the master, this is the ascended master, the guide in you. As you expand your consciousness, you start to contribute in a different way. But in the beginning, you have to focus on you. And when, as a human, we were told not to do this. Make sure everybody outside was taken care of. Um, and we came last. And, and it's the opposite. Everything here is you come first. And you don't worry about the outside world. You don't worry about other people or thinking or saying. You do listen because some of the things they say will, will trigger or activate a knowledge about something you didn't have before. And, and everything is an activation here. It, trigger is the human word. Activation is ours. You'll be activated and triggered constantly. That is the point. Um, until everything of a lower vibration of fear, blame, shame, guilt, all of those things, judgment, until all of those things are gone, um, then it's going to be triggered. That's the point of light. It shows you what you couldn't see before. It also brings you all those amazing realities that you wait for. You will, as you sleep, to wake up. Because sleeping is a necessary part of the process. A ridiculous amount of sleep to anchor photonic light, to walk in the lucid dream, to ascend beyond the third and fourth dimension that collapsed completely. And now the physical is just coming, collapsing and, and being replaced by the higher light frequency realities in their place. And it's really cool if you're paying attention, you'll see it happen. Um, as your physical body releases all of the lower dimensions from inside of it, you actually start to walk in multiple dimensions of higher light frequencies and things get bizarre um you'll question your sanity all along the way you won't know what's real you'll have one foot in each dimension each reality it'll be very confusing for a while you do float inside your body you are supposed to while you um unattach detach cut the cords uh, of everything to the lower realms to your old realities um, to everything unconscious, you won't care anymore. Because when your heart is open, you don't care. You don't care. No details. Nobody cares. When your heart is open, you're blissfully, magically, amazingly happy. And that's all you care about. Um, when your heart closes, all the details come back in. All of the um, restrictions. All of the limits. All of the old realities start to play again. And when you're conscious, you'll realize, wow, that's what that is. I can stay conscious, and I don't have to participate in that. I don't have to believe that, no matter what my physical world says. Because your consciousness dictates your physical reality. So when you go unconscious, then that's the physical reality you get. So, stay conscious. Focus on your light. Focus on your energy. Um, focus on what's important. This is your abundance. This is your prosperity. Um... And when you focus on those things, then all of a sudden things will turn around for you. But you got to be okay with everything you see about yourself. You got to be okay with everything you see in your physical world. But you don't have to accept, accept it as the way things are. You get to say, no, not anymore. Not in my world. I live in magic and bliss and peace. And I get to choose. And I get to bring forth a different reality from inside of me and you get to become a quantum creator again and um, which is one of the upcoming courses coming out and many other things so i love you guys i gotta go do an event and i will see you very soon have an amazing 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 magical journey um playing in the in, in the awesomeness that is here and letting go of all the stuff that isn't awesome because you don't care you don't want it anymore Say, I'm done. I'm done with all that. Now, universe, bring me the awesome things. Embrace it. See what you see and let the other stuff go. Because the more you get caught up in it, the more it's your reality here. I love you guys. Hello. See you soon.